inocente Si no lo vence, soy un racha who want beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies Put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community And give my opinion because my opinion matters Sorry about that Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Francisco. I kind of look like a Jolly Rancher today. Yeah, feel me all these damn colors. It is your boy, Francisco, back at it again with another finger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. Now, first and foremost, I am going to be doing another giveaway for you guys. Yay! Uh, this one is actually going to be for my Rebelde fan. So, I'm going to be raffling out two rebelde tickets if you guys are interested this video has to get 4,000 likes in order for me to do two rebelde tickets that means you could take your boyfriend your girlfriend your chihuahua your your chismoso tias tios whatever the case is we are gonna do that if we have 4,000 likes on this video and aside from that we already did the flower giveaway i did show that on the vlog on the second channel my giveaways are legit but let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to you don't own a room? Why do you make videos in a parked car in the garage? LOL. It's every it's it doesn't matter! Now, the first thing that we're actually getting into, did you guys see with Leslie do makeup? Now, I guess some cheese mat started to resurface. I'm going to be explaining it good in depth because I saw a lot of people were confused, but that's why Philosopher Panchito comes here to explain it in detail. So if you do have a chia brain and you're reading this and I saw a lot of comments saying, hey, what's going on, guys? Can somebody tell me? Your chia to not over fry itself, Panchito's going to help situate the situation. I guess this girl tweeted out on Twitter about how Miss Leslie do makeup this time they covered her phone uh, when she was getting her hair done. Now, the reason that this girl is saying that because two years ago, I guess Leslie was getting her hair done and in the process, she was like chismeando, sending it to all the comadres. Now, I just want to say one thing too when I saw that. They really hate me, right? They probably have a poster and they have a dart in the room and every time they get mad, they go, ding, da, da, ding, da, da, giraffe, giraffe, giraffe. They love to chisme out within their group. They're probably as equivalent to my status. It's just that they're low key about it. You feel me? And this happened. Mike. Lado makeup now, put on blast. Less to makeup got put on blast, not less to makeup actually covering her phone and her hair post this time come on sis we want to see what you were sending and i guess this girl's referring to this right here where she had left it once where she was uh, i guess she's meando here uh this is a post that the girl's referring to she had like some sort of pregnancy she had posted a video of her getting her hair done and in the video you can see her sending my pregnancy announcement multiple times then i tweeted about it and she unfollowed me on everything and then you can see it right there deuce, deuce, deuce. she's saying it to all the comadres they love the cheese man but they hate me huh and then you can see here the new stylist i guess blurred it out because they didn't want the cheese muscles to see i said she's luis covered the phone it's called being professional respecting my clients they didn't want less to make up slipping up now did you see how many people she was sending that to miss leslie do makeup she said pink 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 una pa ti una pa ya una pa aquí una pa ya and i said they love the cheese man <laughs> they love the cheese man so yes this video i guess where she was doing that was two years old but, but the reason i guess this girl brought it up was because the new hairstylist they had dropped a video about a week ago about a week ago and in the process they put like a whole blurred thing like they're kind of extra on it but here's the thing now since this girl wanted to get involved right we always like to give attention to everybody did some investigation and we figured out that this young lady yeah, feel me? Because what the way that she was tweeting it out kind of made it sound like I guess Leslie was just following her and then she just unfollowed her. But we gotta take a step back and understand who the fuck in Dublin is this young lady? <laughs> Glitch in the system, girl. Rip. And I'm talking about who the fuck in Dublin is that young lady? Now, upon investigation, we figured this out. Mike! Now, somebody had commented, what if Les to Makeup was actually doing this just to send this idea for her baby shower, well, yada, yada, yada. But the issue with that is we're doing our investigation and we can see there's actually some history here with Mr. V-Lex. V, V-Lex, yeah, feel me. You can see here the ladies tweeting about Mr. Alex there back in their day. Uh, so could this be a reason as to why Les to Makeup was actually lurking because, you know, maybe there's some tension. You can see there's a video that she was sharing about in the previous video we were talking about. Ha, 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 ha. 
That was sponsored by Landon McBroom. You know what's funny? Every time I do the horse sound, my dog starts barking. He must really hate Landon. If he sees Landon in person, it's over for him. But aside from that, this young lady, I'm assuming, remember, we're going to keep this as allegedly, either she was dating Mr. Felix or they were probably just getting the... So I'm thinking the reason that I guess that video, since everything's resurfacing, we got to explain it. The reason Leslie was doing all that, sending it to everybody, because some people in the comments were like, wait, guys, why does everything have to be so negative? What if Leslie just wanted to get an idea, maybe like a Tumblr idea for her announcement? No, that's not the case. She was sending it to all the comadres because this young lady has some sort of history. We don't know exactly, but we do know she has pictures with Vilex when he was wearing the Vans. And she was tweeting out, I love him. Maybe this was the first love of Vilex. Love, love, love. You know, my friends hate when I do that. I do that in person a lot. Like, I joke around and I always echo myself. And they're like, why are you echoing? There's nothing to echo. Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> But make sure to comment down below. I had a lot of defensoras of Let's Do Makeup. That's what we're going to call them, Las Defensoras. Uh, because they just start defending without even looking at the video or doing their own research. And speaking of Let's Do Makeup, uh, her mean girl best friend, uh, Laura Medellin, allegedly Miss Beauty by Bianca went on, uh, I guess, uh, Facebook Live or wherever she was at. She was talking about how Laura Medellin, allegedly her boutique smells like pescado. My God. You guys, it stinks. I don't know why. But I saw this other girl say... I saw this other girl say that she bought some stuff from Laura's boutique and that, like, the leather stuff smelled like panocha podrida. She bought it to Salmoncito. Now, to my knowledge, a lot of people were commenting that some of these things are shipped from China and maybe they're in the same containers as, I guess, maybe the fish. I don't really know. And did you guys see with Miss Jawadzi? Now, she had posted this on her Instagram story and some people were noticing that I guess she had deleted some pictures with her boyfriend, uh, her new boyfriend. Oh my God. Then I went on his Instagram and he still has the pictures up. So I don't know if they're just having like some sort of little fight because you guys know it's influencer protocol. So I'm not too quite sure if they actually broke up. It was a little suspicious. And for the world news, did you guys see that vendor that was selling the hot dogs that was being, uh, I guess, uh, harassed by these young ladies? Mike. Ayúdenme a compartir ese video donde estas americanas eh, molestaban a ese vendedor de hot dogs en la Universidad de San Diego. Escuchen nomás. Ya verán que cuando las encontremos van a decir que estaban borrachas y que no sabían lo que hacían. Vergüenza deberían de tener, mendigas gringas. Now she was throwing stuff on the car. She was being extremely rude. Um, I guess the, they had contacted her college or something. I think this happened in San Diego. So they emailed the whole college and everything. Uh, but I'm not too sure why she was harassing them. They're just trying to make a buck. Yeah, feel me. So I hope justice is served because this isn't okay to be harassing them and throwing stuff on their car over a damn salchicha. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. Remember, 4,000 likes. I think we can do it. Don't be stingy. And I won't be stingy with the Rebelde tickets. It's a little bit of a throwback, but I know a lot of people do like Rebelde and they are kind of expensive right now, the tickets. And I really do. Do appreciate you guys. Mijo, dile al mesero que ya no los moleste porque vamos a comer. My dad said to stop molesting us because we're going to eat. I'm not molesting no one. Your dad is crazy. Dijo que estás loco que él no los está molestando. ¿Cómo que estoy loco? Dile que los deje de molestar o le voy a partir su madre. Ok, déjale digo. My dad said to stop molesting us or he's going to split your mother. I'm not molesting anyone. Your dad needs some help. No, pa, dijo que no los está molestando y que vas a necesitar ayuda tú. Pinche mesero, vámonos, cabrón.